What's up guys? In this video I'll show you some of the cool new features coming in the next version of Mirage. The first feature is an old new terrain type. The new basic type brings a similar look to the old terrain engine in 3.3. It's not exactly the same one but it's very close. It's very fast and quite useful as a simple general kind of terrain. Mirage now has a rotate and move tool that lets you change the offset and rotation of the terrain. This is only a first tool so I could learn how this whole system works. I'm thinking modifiers and distribution could also have their own tools to paint and stuff or, or make things more interactive. But I'm really interested in what you guys would like to see in the future. Let me know in the comments. There's been quite a few changes to the live mode. In fact, the first change is that the live mode is the only mode now. There was no reason not to use it all the time, so I got rid of the checkbox. The engines now smarter about what to update. Instead of regenerating the entire terrain every time something changes, it now knows when to redo the whole thing or just apply modifiers on the base terrain. It also keeps some of the geometry around to avoid replacing everything every time. Also, there's live hide maps now, so we can finally see what we're doing. Alright, let's look at the juiciest new feature right here. Terrain modifiers now work like Blender's modifiers. You can add as many as you want, stack them however you want, and even rename them. I know the modifier list is still comically small, but I will keep adding more over the next versions. This version also comes with a new pixelate modifier, which replaces the old blocks. This modifier uses the terrain engine instead of abusing Blender's remesher so it's much faster and a lot more stable. And it also works on height maps now. The other modifiers also got some new options. Invert has a factor setting now. The smooth modifier has a new edges mode, which is kind of like the old straight edges, but smoother. Terraces gain the slope option to control the falloff between the terraces. And Diorama has gone from a modifier to a setting again. Because of the new system it didn't make sense to keep it as a modifier. The island modifier can now create islands that actually look like islands. There's quite a lot of settings to control the look though, this modifier is still a work in progress. There are a few bugs to iron out and I also want to add an ocean map to separate the island from the water and the materials. Say goodbye to the old terrain from file panel. Now there's only one terrain panel and it comes with a brand new source setting. That means we can now bring height maps into Mirage terrain engine and use the modifier system with them. The distribution system got a few improvements too. For one, I finally changed the icons to fit Blender's new design. You can also change the up axis of the meshes now. Some tree packs come lying down while others are standing up in the set axis. So instead of having to rotate them, we can now change the up axis to fit the meshes. Distribution layers now support image maps to affect the distribution. 
You can use this to load float maps or vegetation maps and overlay or even replace the generated distribution map. That's all for this video, but there's still plenty of new features to add and a lot of book fixing to do. You can get me rush through the Blender Market and Gumroad. Links in the description. See you in the next one, guys.